So Jean, I don't know if you can see it because it's very light. But there, just on the edge of the wall, we see a reaction that is not only weak, but also very fleeting. The reaction appears and disappears immediately. This reaction is typical of a false positive for this product. By false positive, I mean that there is a reaction, but it is not a reaction with blood. Is it visible on the photo? Yes. This type of reaction is quite frequent in houses because it is a reaction to alcohol bleach. When the bleach is fresh, the reaction is very strong and it acts a bit like a flash. So it's very fleeting. There is a strong reaction that disappears immediately. If the bleach was added several days ago or when it is quite dry, the reaction is not as strong, but it stays very fleeting. Whereas on blood, the reaction lasts at least 30 seconds or even up to two minutes. When we see this false positive with bleach, we have a reaction that really only lasts for an instant. The technician who sees this type of reaction should not take a sample because he already knows that it is a false positive. Thereby saving time and not submitting a useless DNA sample to the laboratory. The reaction is much lighter on old household bleach that is already dry and which has been deposited for at least one hour. It's even more bluish than really blue, which is the color you get with blood. Jean-Marc, I have soaked the cloth with fresh bleach. I have just put it on top and I will show you the reaction. Did you see that? It's a really fleeting, very strong reaction which stops immediately whereas it lasts with blood. This is the big difference and this is why it's really easy for a technician not to confuse a bleach false positive with a blood reaction. We already see this Milky Way aspect brilliance. As an anecdote, I have even had blood mixed with bleach on a carpet and been able to tell the difference between a reaction to bleach and the reaction to blood. So I only took a sample at the location where I believe there was blood. I blocked off all of the reaction areas which I believed were false positives for bleach. DNA was then found later during the DNA analysis. This is why it is useful to set up your camera first and to take the photograph during the first spray because the product may run. If there was a specific shape as we were able to see elsewhere, it would deteriorate because of being sprayed too many times. The false positives, the first with household bleach, a product that is commonly used in the home, and the second with eucrylic paints, which are also often found in houses. This does show that false positives exist for Blue Star and that they should not be hidden. More generally, what can cause a reaction with Blue Star? Metal ions. Where can they be found? They can be found in nature. For example, simple lichens will concentrate metals from pollution. So these lichens will react. You also have other false positives that are found more or less everywhere. This is why we can't draw up an exhaustive list. Even though they turn up really everywhere, even in nature, it is easy to distinguish false positives because, as we have seen, the reaction is not quite the same. The intensity of the blue is different, and really not blue at all, more of a whitish color. In particular, the kinetics of the reactions are much flashier when products like bleach are involved. Or they take a much longer time, as can happen with certain paints. Take the example of a simple copper coin that anyone can have at the bottom of his pocket. You should be aware that copper entering the composition of this room will produce a reaction that is weak, 
but lasts a long time, so everyone can experience a false positive on copper with a coin.